Hey all, welcome, and we're going to look at a tool today that a lot of people don't know about, and we'll also look at what it's used for. Um, so we're going to look at tag management and specifically the Telium tool. Um, there's a lot of tools out there for tag management. Some of them include Telium, Adobe Digital, Digital Tag Manager, um, Google Tag Manager, and Cyton, and several other ones. Um, Telium is one of the fastest growing tools, that's why we're going to take a look at it. Um, however, you know, depending on a company's needs, they may choose one tool over another. Um, but before we look at Telium itself, we kind of need to know what tag management is. Um, so on the internet, pretty much every e-commerce website and a lot of information websites um, have third-party vendors that track different things so you know you might track analytics on your site uh, you know where users are going what things are being clicked on stuff like that um, you might have email marketing um, you know ads all kinds of these different third-party vendors um, doing all kinds of different things on the site and when you start getting more than just a couple it gets really really out of hand on trying to manage these um, because a marketing team may say we want to add this tool but then you've got a development team you've got to work with to actually add the tool on the site um, while some some companies that may not be a problem uh, a lot of companies it is a problem because the development cycles for a website can be very long sometimes um, I've done some projects where their development prod cycles were literally every three months whereas they needed tracking for something immediately, like, you know, yesterday. So there's this need for a way to manage these tags easily, effectively, um, and very quickly without needing the dev cycle more than, you know, the first or second time around. Um, so that's tag management is kind of just managing all of those. And a tool that handles tag management will implement you know, these third-party vendor scripts uh, that various sites use and, you know, hopefully make it easy for the user that needs to implement those scripts. So today we'll look at Telium. Uh, maybe we'll look at a couple of other tools in the future, but for this one, we'll just take a look at Telium's tool. So Telium is one of the fastest growing tag management systems. It is a contract type of system where you pay to set it up and then you have a yearly fee um, depending on traffic and you know just whatever you contract with them. Um, and they also have three different products. The one that we're going to focus on is the actual tag manager. It's called Telium IQ. They do have a couple other products here that you may be interested in looking at, um, especially for real time uh, type of tracking for users. But Telium IQ is their tag management system. Um, overall, it's probably the most friendly, and that's why it's grown so fast. Um, so we're going to kind of take a look at what the tool looks like and what it can do. Let me log in here. Okay. So what, the first thing that you see when you look in to the Telium IQ tool is kind of a summary of what you've implemented on your site. And basically the goal of Telium is to make it really easy. So they, they focus things in a kind of four tabs here. And it's, you know, the foundation very first and then building on top of it. So the very first thing that you do um, when you're implementing a tag management system is add the scripts to the page. Uh, this does require dev cycles and typically it's hope if it's done right you only have to have the dev cycle doing this one step and then later you don't have to involve dev to add new tags. Um, so let's take a look at what the script looks like. So basically you have uh, a single place to house all your data per page and then you call the tag management system. So it's a very simple script. You've got it all contained in one area. Um, very easy to manage. 
and very easy to implement for for your developers. Um, they will get this implemented on every page and when you contract with Telium, they'll actually help you build a data layer, um, you know, figure out all the variables that you're going to need for the tags that you want to put in through the Telium system. Um, so they'll help you set this up and get everything running. Once you have it added to every page, um, from there you basically just use the tool um, without having to talk to your development team very much. Um, so in here you've got a data layer and basically this is all your variables that you're going to use throughout the tool. Um, these are also coded on the page uh, so you can kind of see we have our data layer which Telium calls a UDO or Universal Data Object. Um, so you can have variables in that area. You can have query string parameters from the URL, you can pull cookies, you can manually pull JavaScript variables off the page, and metadata. So you have a lot of flexibility on where your data comes in to the system. Um, typically, you'll have a lot of variables here, especially if you're an e-commerce site. Um, so let me show you some of these common ones. So if you're, you're an e-commerce site, you're going to have all kinds of information about products and orders and customers and you can see a big list here. Um, basically all of the things that you're a lot of vendors want to track um, especially if they're worried about affiliates or you know who to pay who, um, where a user is going, what they're buying, things like that. So this is very important information. Um, so you can kind of see a list of variables here that we use. Um, for example, order ID. Typically they do a very readable format so you know exactly what it is. Um, that's kind of the purpose of this data layer being the foundation is you have all your data in one place and you make it very readable so there's no confusion as to what it is. Uh, it's also very vendor neutral. Um, a lot of vendors, especially analytics tools, have very specific naming for their variables and sometimes you have no idea what the variable is. Um, so Telium tries to clean that up and make things very readable. Um, and then from you know from a, a vendor standpoint you can still map in that data later. So once you have your data set up and on the page then you can kind of come in and say here's the tags that I want and here's how I want to set them up. So I'm not going to go into how to set them up so much. I'll just look at the overview on what they look like. Um, so let's take a look at a very common one. Uh, here's a Site Catalyst tag. Uh, Site Catalyst is an analytics tool, and they're very popular because it's a very robust analytics tool. Uh, their main competitor is Google Analytics, which is also very robust. Um, however, Google Analytics is free, and Adobe's is not. Um, but Adobe's is probably more comprehensive overall. Um, so this is what a basic tag will look like. You have some sort of static configuration section where you might put, you know, your unique account IDs, um, you know, various various configurations on getting the tag running from a basic standpoint. Um, but really, the magic happens in how these tags are set up in the back end. Um, so every tag is backed by a template in Telium, which usually you don't have to touch or even look at but they, all the code that gets the tag running is automatically added for you um, it helps you map things up without having to touch anything uh, so it's very very user friendly um, Telium has hundreds and hundreds of tags available with these templates so you, know, you can just search for any tag now let's find that Google Analytics, for example, if I can spell here. So you can see there's just a ton of different types of tags, very easy to find lots of them, and they try to keep them fairly updated. Um, so Telium is very good in that regard. They're very user friendly and have a lot of tools available to users. The problem with a lot of other tag management tools, um, especially two of the more popular ones, Adobe DTM and Google Tag Manager, 
they don't have a lot of built-in tags. You basically have to paste in a script yourself and kind of make it work, um, which is not very helpful for those that don't know JavaScript or you know how scripts actually work. Uh, whereas Telium is much more friendly for that. Uh, you don't have to know how Google Analytics works uh, at, at a code level to be able to implement it. So that's kind of the kind of the goal about Telium and their template system for these tags. Um, and basically, they make it very user friendly here. So they say set up some configuration. Um, these load rules say when you want to fire this tag or when you don't want to fire this tag on a per page basis. Um, so you could say maybe only fire this tag if a cookie exists um, or maybe f exclude it from these certain pages. So you have flexibility on when the tag fires and then to actually get your data mapped into the tag you have this map data sources section. Um, so for example that order ID that I showed earlier I could just search for that. Oops, yeah I forgot it's named differently. There we go. So order ID. There's a nice toolbox that helps you map things up. So maybe the site catalyst variable for that I set up on the Adobe side was prop one. So I can just map that in. Telium takes care of the rest. It'll fire the tag and when order ID is populated on your page, then it will pass it to site catalyst as prop one. Um, so very easy to use in general. Um, however, sometimes tags do require a little bit of customization, um, which Telium also has done really well at integrating into their system. Uh, for that, they call them extensions. Extensions basically are a way to customize tags or your data layer as a whole um, to get it exactly how you need it. So let's say for Site Catalyst, I wanted to manually set that order ID value. I could use a set data values extension. And you know, let's say this is only for the Site Catalyst tag. I can search for order ID. And maybe I want to set it to test uh, anytime my URL contains the word test. Um, so this will automatically populate that order ID variable based on this condition. Um, there's a lot of extensions you can do to customize your data layer uh, or specific tags. So in this case we're setting order ID just for Site Catalyst on this specific condition, but we could have done that for all tags. Um, we can set cookies with this one. Uh, we can concatenate different variables together. We can look up values and output to new variables. Um, or if all else fails and there's not something that really meets our need, we could even just write our own custom JavaScript code. Um, so very robust, um, very friendly system in general, um, especially when you compare it to some of the other tag management tools that don't have these tags built in. Um, or don't have a way to really customize things without having to know some sort of JavaScript. Um, so it's a very friendly system that Telium has built here. Um, in addition, once you save something, so you can save and publish your changes, it will show you the things that you've changed. Um, so let me, let me do that really quick here. So in this case, maybe I just I want to save um, sample sc chat tag and maybe I only want to publish it to my development environment. Um, you can see there's different workflows available here so development, QA or stage and then a production environment. So in this case let's just say I want to publish to dev. So it'll take just a minute to push all those changes and save them. And while we're waiting for that, basically that just depends on the code snippet added to the page. Um, so the developers will distinguish if you're on a dev site or the production site and so on. 
Um, so we can see it saved here. And what's nice about Telium and really any tag management tool is there is some sort of uh, virgin history. So you can see the changes that were made, uh, see the notes, and if you need to, you can go back to versions, revert to the old versions, and so on. Um, so very easy system to use in general. Um, what What's really nice about Telium, probably more so uh, than just the tool, is their support system. Um, for something like Google or Adobe, their support is sometimes hard to reach or you know may cost extra to do things whereas when you're implementing a site in Telium you get unlimited hours um, you, it's kind of just built into your contract and they're very very helpful on getting things implemented um, however let's say you didn't have any hours left or whatever uh, they do have a very good help center that is called the community so there's a learning community right here and I'll have to log in really quick. So this learning community is driven by both um, employees at Telium as well as just general customers. So you can come in here, you can find questions and articles, um, whole series on things, or you can ask your own question and get answers from people that have worked with that bef issue before. Um, so you can see there's lots of posts in here, and it's a very, very good resource, especially if you, you know, don't have any more support hours or something, or it's just a simple question that you may not need to contact Telium about. Um, so a very good support system on top of a very good tool, um, and in general, that is probably why Telium's becoming one of the best tools on the market just because of how friendly it is across the board and how easy it is and how involved they are. Um, so that's kind of the kind of the overall view of Telium tag management system. And again, just as a reminder, uh, tag management is managing third party vendors. So you can see I've got a few different third party vendors in here, Facebook, Critio, Site Catalyst. Um, you know, there's hundreds more that they have available. And this tool is just a way to manage all of that. Get all your data in one spot and be able to manage everything in one spot. Um, so you don't have to keep going back to your development team over and over again to get little things fixed here and there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have more questions about what TLM is or would like to use it, you can contact them directly. Um, there's also a lot of resources online that give information about what it is and um, tag management in general. And if you are interested in that for your business, feel free to kind of research them and choose the tool that's best for you. And hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in another video.